Hello, are you there? It's a math time. Welcome dear children to explore more about three digit numbers. Have a look at this. Pineapple, orange and mango are on a walk. Where are they going? Seems like they want to say something. Pineapple says, I am before. Mango says, I am after. And orange says, I am in between. Okay, but where you all are going? Oh, okay. They entered into your kitchen. Seems like your mom called them. Well, have your favorite juice. Then let's begin our class with before, after and between numbers. Children, you have learned to read and write three digit numbers from 100 to 200. Now the time to learn how to write before numbers. If you want before number, you should count one step backward means you should subtract one from the given number. Let's see how to do it. Here is the first number that is 194. What comes before 194? To get before number, you should subtract 1 from 194. 194 minus 1 equal to 193. Before number also known as predecessor. So, predecessor of 194 is 193. Let's see one more number that is 193. What comes before 193? 193 minus 1 equal to 192. So predecessor of 193 is 192. Let's take one more number that is 191. What comes before 191? What you should do? Yes, subtract 1 from 191. 191 minus 1 equal to 190. Before 191, we get 190. So, please remember, if we subtract 1 from a number, we will get before number or we can say we get predecessor. Don't forget. Now, here we learn the method of writing after number. Look at these serial numbers. It will help us to learn after number. To get after number, you should count one step forward. Means, you should add one to the given number. Simple. Here is the first number 165. What comes after 165? Add 1. 165 plus 1. 166. After number also known as successor. So, successor of 165 is 166. Take one more number. That is 167. What comes after 167? Yes. 167 plus 1 equal to 168. So, after 167, we get 168. Or, you can say, successor of 167 is 168. Last example, that is 169. What comes after 169? 169 plus 1 equal to 170. After 169, we get 170. Very easy, right? 
So, please remember, if we add 1 to the given number, we get after number. Or we can say, we get successor. Next comes between numbers. Here I took few serial numbers to find out between numbers. First of all, let's check what comes between 180 and 182. Between 180 and 182 comes 181. What comes between 179 and 181? Between 179 and 181 comes 180. Last one. What comes between 182 and 184? Between 182 and 184, we get 183. That's it. Hope you cleared about before, after and between numbers. Children, do you like to explore a little more about the numbers? So here we are. Let's learn to compare the numbers. First of all, compare numbers having different number of digits. Look here, I have taken two numbers, 165 and 98. First step, what you should do is count the number of digits. 165 has 3 digits, 98 has 2 digits. 3 digits more or 2 digits more? Yes, 3 digits are more. So, 165 is greater than 98. Check out one more example. That is 77 and 144. 77 has 2 digits and 144 has 3 digits. So, which number has more digit? 144. So, 144 is greater than 77. Now, what if the number of digits the given numbers are same? What method to follow? Here, the given numbers are 157 and 200. Both having same number of digits. In this case, you should check hundreds place digit. At hundreds place, we have 1 in 157 and 2 in 200. So compare 1 and 2. 1 is smaller than 2. That means 157 is smaller than 200. Now see here second example. Compare 182 and 166. Both having 3 digits. First compare hundreds place digit. At hundreds place, both having same digits. At that time, we should check tens place digit. Tens place having 8 and 6. Compare them. 8 is greater than 6. That means 182 is greater than 166. In third example, compare 125 and 129. Digits of these numbers are equal. So first compare hundreds place digits. Hundreds place digits are equal. Next compare tens place digits. They are also equal. So now compare ones place digits. Okay, they are different. So compare them. 5 is smaller than 9. Therefore, 125 is smaller than 129. Now in last example, compare 150 and 150. The digits at the hundreds, tens and ones place are same. Thus, the given numbers are equal. To sum up, what we have learned today is before, after and between numbers. 
as well as comparing numbers. Do this exercise and check your knowledge. Thank you dear children for listening. Let's meet again. Bye-bye.